Hey y'all, John Lord here. Sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. I've been very, very busy with my job. Had a lot of personal issues going on. And I'm preparing for something that I'm going to tell you at the end of the video. But today, I have a very, really good news story I'd like to share with you coming out of Paris. So, earlier today, in the great city of Paris, France, at this apartment complex, there was a baby dangling from, like, the fourth floor, and as crowds of people were screaming in shock and fear, this one man, who happened to be an African migrant from Mali, climbed up four stories to rescue this child and bring him down when everyone around him was just looking in shock and horror. And this kid's life was saved. I, there's even a video of the incident and it is just so beautiful. And in return for this guy's heroism, he was invited to meet with the French President Emmanuel Macron. And guess what happened to this dude? Take a wild guess. Emmanuel Macron not only granted this Malian immigrant full French citizenship, he was also given a job as a fireman for his heroic rescue effort. And this is one of the most beautiful things I've seen to date. Normally when we hear the city of Paris in the news, it's because of like mass stabbing or shooting attacks that are attributed to the so-called Islamic State. But not this time. This whole story pretty much reminds me of my all-time favorite verse in the Quran. I think it's Surah 5, verse 42. It basically reads this. He who slays a person, save for murder or causing mischief in the land, is as if he has slain all mankind, but he who saves one life is as if he's saved all of mankind. And this is exactly what this guy did. If you watch the video, it's all over Facebook, it's all over Twitter, it's all over every major news network, and this guy's heroism was rewarded perfectly. However, given the ethnic and religious background of this guy, I am under the impression that you're going to see a lot of alt-right conspiracy theorists and fake news stories saying that like this incident was like staged to make like African slash Islamic migrants and refugees look good and that the guy is actually like a terrorist or something which is completely untrue and yes I'm looking at you Alex Jones but hopefully that doesn't happen and hopefully people will look at this story and be like wow this is amazing what this guy did instead of coming up with like conspiracy theories that this was like a staged event or a false flag or whatever as for why I haven't uploaded in a while in addition to being busy at my work pushing cards having some personal issues going on trying to work that out and here's the thing I've been preparing for I'm gonna be going out of the country for about a week for another writers conference I'm not gonna say which country I'm going to but I've been trying to get ready for that and as you can see I'm wearing a new shirt that I bought that I'm gonna be wearing on this trip and once again I'm not saying where but I'm gonna be away out of the country from the June 11th to the 19th so I won't be doing any more videos for a while since this is my 49th video and I want to do a really good 50th video special when I come back. If you have any ideas for the 50th video special please comment your ideas DM them to me on Twitter or whatever. Well that's it for tonight folks once again I'd like to say, after this video, I'd like to apologize for not uploading for a while, and I'd like to say I'm taking a little break after this video, and then so I can prepare for my upcoming trip, and see if I can come up with a good idea for a 50th video special. If you have any suggestions, please tell me in the comments section below, DM me on Twitter with your ideas, and I'll see what I can come up with. That's it for tonight, folks. Peace.